absolute spark on the hardwood. Luka Doncic oozes creativity, and his side will be feeding off it in this contest as they get ready for tip-off at Golden One Center. Mavs, Kings, we'll be right back for the tip. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you exciting NBA action. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from reporter Allie LaForce in a moment. Hey, Allie. Kyrie Irving draws praise from Blazers head coach Chauncey Billups, who said, quote, as somebody that played the point guard, I think Kyrie's the most skilled player that's ever played the position. His shot making is incredible, and he's a better passer than people give him credit for. He's a wizard. Brian, that says a lot. Sure does, Allie. Thank you. Looking at the starting five for the Dallas Mavericks. They've got Luka Doncic, Maxi Kleba out there with Grant Williams. Then it's Kyrie Irving, and it's McGee in at the five. And for the Kings... Herter and Murray, the two and the three. Barnes plays four. He joins Sabonis at the five. And it's Fox in at the point guard position. And this Mavericks team, Grant, they are loaded up on shooters who can hurt you from outside. And that's the way they should be built. Force teams to spread out and give Luka space. And when the Mavs get hot from outside, they are dangerous. Now here's Fox. In the game against Houston, very impressive. And he buries his first look. Man, I like how confident Fox is inside. I mean, awesome. Absolutely awesome. Getting good positioning close to the basket. Williams against Murray. It's McGee. High post. On the wing, Irving. Pulls it. Hauled in by the Kings. And the first season matchup for them against the Mavericks this year. And they'll meet three times overall. A little bit of a tone setter here tonight. The first time you face a team in the season, that's when you're looking to take that mental advantage. Demonstrate you're better. And that could make it easier down the road. So it's the Mavericks now. Four-point game. Doncic passes to Irving. Back to Doncic. McGee against Sabonis. Puts it up. Offensive board. Left side, Williams. Let's go with a three. Dallas again missing. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And some surprise teams that started out hot have not cooled down. Their fans are wondering if this is the new normal. Well, B.A., it's easy for fans to jump to that conclusion. But look. The bottom line is you can't look too far ahead. You've got to stay in the moment and enjoy the ride. I wish I had done more of that when I was playing. The first free throw is good and seems hard to believe, but it's been almost 40 years since the Kings moved to Sacramento. And you know, maybe they haven't hung any banners, but they've had some special players and some great seasons in that time, and they mean a lot to that community. Both good from the line that time. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. Now they're one of its proudest franchises. Now here's Irving. Taking command on offense when they need him. Putting up 21 a game. Outside, Williams. Goes back up. McGee's shot is off. <laughs> Just brutal. I mean, five straight misses to begin the game. Fade away. Murray, no good. And you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. They're yeah, so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. They've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. Now here's Barnes. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Pass to Fox. Back to Barnes. Three on the clock. Sacramento again missing. 
Well, the defense got lucky there with him missing, but they don't want to chance that again. Again, Doncic missing. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Kept alive, Sabonis. Offensive rebound, Kings. And Sabonis slams it in. Well, one of the things that stands out with DeMonte Sabonis, this guy is high energy all the time. He's a relentless glass eater. Dallas has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Back to Irving. Pass to Williams. Five to shoot. Looking to win the drought. Basket counts. I got a question for you. How do you defend Irving in the pick and roll? He's so quick, and his ball handling is so good. Absolutely, virtually impossible. Now here's Fox. You know, his stats have been solid, averaging around 18 and a half points a game. So bonus, the pass to Murray. Outside Herter. Back to Murray. Over Williams. Murray, shot is good. You know, they'll take the points, but I'm sure Coach will prefer a higher percentage look next time. The Mavericks trailing. Outside Irving. Pass to Williams. Here's McGee. Doncic outside. To the middle. Clock at six. It's scooped up! Kleba passes to Irving. Over Fox. Tries yet again. And McGee with the stuff. Boy, for a seven-footer, he's got really good bounce, does JaVale McGee, and doing a nice job working on the glass there. The Kings have gone four of nine in this one so far. Irving against Fox. Left side, Barnes. Down low. Here's Murray. That's in. Coming off an assist from Barnes. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Here's Doncic. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Outside Irving. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Kings. Well, I've liked their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away that the inside area is their territory. Yeah, also, you got to appreciate how unselfish they've been. I mean, the ball movement has been impressive, and the assist numbers are off the chart. And, you know, you felt this coming ever since summer when the idea of Kyrie Irving out of Brooklyn now, we all know the two sides just couldn't see a long-term future together. So the Nets were able to send Irving away and get something before he left in free agency. Good on the bucket. Now another view of that incredible mobile one drive. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Outside, Williams. Pass to Kleba. Now here's Irving. And no good. Good work defensively by Fox. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. Now here's Barnes. He's checked by Kleba. Irving against Fox. From behind the arc. The Mavericks rebound. And the foul called on Harrison Barnes. That's his first foul of the game. Christian Wood is checked in for McGee. Dallas calls timeout. Yeah, the shocker of the 2022 trade deadline. A deal centered around DeMontis Sabonis going to Sacramento and Tyrese Halliburton sent to Indy.
Knox against Irving. Doncic left side. Got it from about 16 feet. That blockbuster Sabonis Halliburton trade. What do you make of it for the Kings? Well, you know, B.A., Sacramento was a guard-heavy team. Sabonis adds size. He also adds playmaking, and I love his motor. I think it was a move to even out their roster. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Dallas has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Outside Irving. From deep three-point range. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Sabonis has got rebound number seven tonight. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Here's Barnes. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. And the foul called on Harrison Barnes. That'll be a second foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Monk, he's checked in for Sacramento. And Dallas also making a switch. Hardaway's checked in for Kleba. Boy, what a brilliant find by Doncic. Monk against Irving. Outside Murray. Up top, Barnes. Good D by Doncic. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Here's Hardaway. That one falls. And now just a three-point Sacramento lead. Tip your hat to Hardaway Jr. there, guys. I mean, even in the face of aggressive defense, he stays focused and delivers. Sabonis finds Monk. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Kings lead by five. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting an unremarkable 30% in the first. Pass to Hardaway. Williams with it. He's guarded by Sabonis. Here's Wood. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Woods got his second bucket on the night. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. That's exactly why you can't give Monk a lane to the bucket. I mean, he explodes towards the rim to throw it down with real vigor. Here's Irving. He's got five. Doncic with it from deep. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Now here's Monk. Driving in. Pass to Barnes. And it's good. First made shot in four attempts. Sharing the basketball is a part of the game that Monk needs to continue to add to to complement his shooting. And so it's Dallas with it. They trail by seven. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. To the inside. And it's Monk that time on the assist by Murray. Monk's got six. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Back to Irving. Doncic outside. Dallas no good that time either. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over-anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Now here's Monk. He's got six. Six to shoot. Puts it up from 12. Here's Sabonis. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the lay-in. Sabonis has got his second basket. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Back to Irving. Wood outside. We've got 155 left to play in the first. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Murray with it. Guarded now by Williams. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. 
So two free throws for him coming up. Well, Grant, the shocker of the 2022 trade deadline, the modest Sabonis going to the Kings. Big time surprise. Tyrese Halliburton going the other way to Indy. Now, I like that deal for both sides. Sacramento adding an all-star big. The Kings needing some size. Sabonis adds that. Knocks down the first one. DeMontis Sabonis, so versatile, brings so much to his position. He scores, he passes, rebounds, and defends at a high level. And Sabonis drops them both. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting just about 29% so far. Not great. Dallas calls timeout. They couldn't put the pieces together last time out. Losing to the Clippers. Yeah, we know that on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. And, you know, one of the things about missing free throws is not only are you not getting points yourself, but it allows the other team to maintain momentum or keep a rally going. To halt the run. And there's a nice layup by Wright. Boy, you can see the connection these guys have. They ran the play well. The defense had no idea how to deal with it. Here's Duarte. He's covered by Curry. Pass to Lyles. To the middle. Here's Davis. And he converts the layup. And the Kings lead by 13. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. 110 left now in the first quarter. Right outside. And here is Williams. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And their number four overall pick, Keegan Murray, making a quick impact. One of the most efficient players in college basketball at Iowa last year. He went on to win MVP of the 2K23 Summer League. Can he become a rising star for the Kings? It'll be fun to watch. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Green. And both free throws good for Green. And it's Sacramento's ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Outside Davis. Pass to Lyles. Back to Davis. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. That free throw, good from Davis. And that's good as he hits both shots. And they're doing a great job of earning their trips to the line. Boy, I love that attack mentality. Get in there and force the officials to make a call. Now here's Wood providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to uh, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. He buries it from three. Monk's got nine. 
Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Out to Wood. Uncovered. Yep, that one goes. Wood's gotten his third basket of the night. And you know, that's a shot Wood can hit. The defense can't give him room to take it. And so it's Sacramento up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. And don't go far. We'll be right back. to have you with us second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and guys we've seen the kings really take control here they're off to a rock solid start they brought a well thought out plan into this one yeah you know what makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case no adjustments needed just keep on keeping on and here are the mavericks now it's a 14 point game on the court right now for dallas We've got Maxi Kleba. He's out there with Josh Green. Seth Curry is out there with Christian Wood. And it's right in at the point guard position. That's Curry's shot there. I mean, he's out there to catch and fire away when he's got room. Curry against Davis. Pass to Sabonis. And there's the call on Christian Wood. That's foul number two for him. In the first half, you want to stay aggressive, but you also want to be careful. That is his second foul already. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. Oh, <laughs> showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Who poked away and stolen by Wood. Well, that's not been a typical possession for them in this first half. You know, for the most part, they've been pretty smart with the ball. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, Luka Doncic, an all-star from his second season, and every year he's one of the favorites for MVP. But Luka says, quote, I still haven't won anything, so I've got a long way to go. Brian, if you didn't catch it, team success is the metric. He says the key is to win a championship. Well, he certainly gives them a chance to do just that, Allie. Thank you. Now, here's Green. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Well, Sacramento is shooting a terrific 58% from the floor. Pass to Lyles. From deep three-point range. Here's Sabonis. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Sabonis has got eight. Well, there's a lot to like about Sabonis, but he can play finesse as well as bully ball. And I love that about him. Here's Green. Checked by Davis. Kleba with it. And that one hits the back iron. The Kings have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Pass to Lyles. Yes! And a nice assist from Fox. And the Kings lead by 14. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Outside Curry. Back to right. We've seen the pace of the game ratchet up every year, Clark. Might that trend reverse at some point? I don't think so, B. I mean, the game is meant to be played fast, and because of the potency of the three-point shot, the skill level of the players, the athleticism, I think you're going to continue to see teams play with a lot of pace because that's easier in terms of producing points. Here's Fox. The Mavs get their last shot to go. Pass to Monk. Right side, Davis. Just five to shoot. And the shot goes. Davis has got his second basket on the night. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Now, here's Green. Here's Wright. 
Off with the layup. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Monk. That one no good. Oh, nice D from Curry. Right, the pass to Curry. To the paint. Here's Green. Up and in on the layup. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Now Fox. Give him eight points now. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Lyles. From the high post. And it's Fox missing. For Dallas, they've gone four for seven in the second quarter. And players weather some verbal abuse from fans on the road. Clark, we've seen some of them say they'll mirror that energy. What do you think about that? Well, I'll tell you, it's interesting, Brian. Clearly, fans have a right to cheer and say things, but they can't be abusive. And just because you buy a ticket doesn't give you a right to treat the players as if they're not human. And we've seen fans cross the line in that regard. That's unacceptable. As a player, your impact is best felt on the court. So you have to control your emotions. But the fans and the venues have a responsibility to make sure that people who have a ticket act as they should for having that ticket, not feeling as though they can do or say anything they want to to the player. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Herders checked in for Sabonis. Barnes comes in for Lyles. Murray's checked in for Davis. And Mitchell subbed in for Monk. Hits both from the stripe. The Kings have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Here's Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. How about the vertical from Fox? Throwing it down with authority. Go get it, young fella. Mavericks shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. Right outside. Mitchell against Doncic. Kleba outside. Hardaway, the pass to right. Clock at six. Over Fox. Here's McGee. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. They'll pin that one on Harrison Barnes. Well, you look at McGee and the career resurgence he's undergone, guys. Outstanding. I mean, when he's been in the right situation, he's been very effective. Throws good. McGee and the Mavericks making a change here. Irving's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. <laughs> They've been impeccable from the line here in the second period. Doing what they can to try to build some momentum. And here's Fox. Ten points for him. Barnes finds Herter. Fox outside. From deep. Called in by McGee. The Mavericks have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Here's Doncic. Goes back up. And he can't get that one. So Sacramento will take it the other way. At one point, they led by 16. This game following their win against the Rockets. And most of the arena was totally against them. But they looked inward, trusted each other, and made good plays. Well, you know, the cohesiveness was evident out there. These guys feel like they can win in any arena. And they proved it that game. And guess what, guys? I mean, one of the ways De'Aaron Fox improved his skills growing up was playing 2K. Learning the NBA game on 2K. I love it. Now here's Irving. 26 points for him. Last game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. A nice shot by McGee. 
it really balances out the backcourt when McGee is able to provide points inside. I mean, that's big. Now a timeout by Sacramento. And De'Aaron playing 2K growing up. His dad encouraged him to observe. Take note. Good advice. I mean, De'Aaron learned a lot about things like ball screens, pick and roll from playing video games, stuff like that. I mean, Fox used 2K as a way to study the game of basketball. Sacramento has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Fox with the ball. 12 points for him. Outside Murray. Let's it go. Oh, great D that time from Kleba. For Dallas, they've gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Irving for 3. Knocks down the long J. Irving's got 8 points. Well, this is a staple, a pillar of Irving's attack. You've got to be up on him or he'll pull up on a dime. Outside Herder. Back to Mitchell. That one is off. Great D that time from Irving. For Dallas, they've gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. Pass to McGee. Over Mitchell. McGee's shot is off. The Kings leading. It's Fox with a drive. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. They're one of the fastest players in the game. When Fox attacks the defense, he puts so much pressure on them. First one falls for him. Boy, I like the focus and unselfishness Fox brings to the court. A strong defender with lightning quick reflexes in every spot. The Mavericks making a switch here. Williams is checked in. And he makes both free throws. The Mavericks trailing. Outside Irving. Over Mitchell. And that one's good. Now four for ten. Irving, excellent at converting with either hand. He's got a special talent for finishing in the lane. Outside Mitchell. Over to the wing. Box the pass to Barnes. The shot that time, not on target. Now Dallas takes it the other way. Pass to Irving. Inside. Here's McGee. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. And now just a five-point Kings lead. Much more efficient this quarter. Feeling more and more confident. Outside Mitchell. It's Herder on the wing. Here's Barnes. Four on the clock. Back to Herder. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. So the Kings making a change here. Duarte's checked in. The Mavericks have gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Here's Doncic. Here's the second effort. McGee's shot is off. Sacramento has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Mitchell got it. And the Kings lead by 7. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now here's Murray. He had 10 points in the win against Houston. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Murray can score in a multitude of ways, Grant. Oh, yes, he can, B.A. I mean, he can feast from the post, the mid-range, and the three-point line as well. He always plays under control at his own pace, and that's why he looks so fluid out there on the floor.
first one falls. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free, and they've done exactly that, made them pay. Hits both from the strike. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting just around 47% in the second quarter. Irving, the pass to Doncic. Irving against Mitchell. Shoots from 12. Here's McGee. And McGee with the stuff. You know, all McGee needs, guys, is good What's positioning. That? Once he has that, dunking the ball is elementary. good McGee he wasn't quite as assertive as he needed to be in the first quarter but now he's taking a more head-on approach and getting himself to the line now here's Mitchell averaging around five points a game outside Herder back to Mitchell pass to Barnes over Williams Barnes no good yeah, you know he hasn't contributed well scoring the ball but obviously his teammates have. And McGee with the stuff. And this kind of athleticism at the center position, pretty remarkable. I mean, McGee letting it all hang out there. Murray against Hardaway. Pass to Doncic. An open look for Irving. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Doncic has got six assists now in the game. Irving against Mitchell. Now here's Murray. Back to Mitchell. Left side Barnes. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Barnes has got his second bucket on the night. Boy, strength and body control on display there from Barnes. I mean, tell you what, he's got a competitive spirit to him. He doesn't want any defender to get the better of him. Now here's Irving. He's got 14. Pass to Hardaway. Back to Doncic. Driving inside. And here is McGee. He's guarded by Barnes. They get it back. Tries again. And rejected. To the middle. Here's Mitchell. And it's blocked by Irving. Irving bringing a little more intensity to the defensive end there, using his speed to get ahead of that shot. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Irving's got 11 points in the quarter. Scoring well this quarter, picking up steam as he goes. Down low. Here's Murray. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. McGee's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. Doncic finds Irving. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Irving's got 18 points in the game. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. Herder against Hardaway. Count the basket. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. Dallas is shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Doncic passes to Williams. Here's Doncic. Now Irving. Checked by Mitchell. Pass to Williams. Back to Irving. Shot clock at six. The Mavericks rebound. Big offensive board there. They can now milk that clock a little more. 
You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. And he gets it back. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Mavericks. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Nine seconds left in the first half. Doncic outside. Kyrie Irving has been on display for the Mavericks. His fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points leading the charge. Back to the game after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. What a game it's been for Kyrie Irving. He had 18 points, two rebounds, and one block. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on the home. And Shaq, what do you think about Sacramento? They ran their offense very well in the first half. There were almost no four shots. It was good, smart basketball. The motion in their offense was terrific. They made those defenders work very hard. I like what I saw from them for the most part. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Well, you look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he's been everywhere. Yeah, tonight, he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him, body him up, be physical with him. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Barnes plays four. He joins Sabonis at the five. Herter and Murray, the two and the three. And it's Fox in at the point. That's the five out there for the Kings. Here's Irving. Jump shot is good that time. Irving's got 20. Well, I tell you what, he's one of the best scorers in the game. And I love how Irving continues to be in attack mode. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, the Kings made a big trade last season to acquire all-star DeMontis Sabonis. It's clear they want a break from their lead long playoff drought, and they're hoping he can help them do it. He said, quote, it's exciting. I want to be here. We're going to fight and get wins. Back to you. Yeah, they're all in, Allie. Thank you. And it's the Kings with the ball. The Mavs get their last shot to go. Outside Murray. Pass to Herder. Six on the shot clock. Sabonis outside. Murray for three. Some solid defense from Williams. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. And, you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Now here's Herter. Outside Barnes. And it's rejected. Irving against Fox. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power. Greg. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him what to do. Finding his own purpose and his identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade. throw good from Irving hard to keep up with Irving I mean this guy knows how to get to the line he's a multi-dimensional scorer always attacking it's 
Second free throw, no good. Even with that miss, they're shooting 75% coming out of the break. That's a strong start to the half. And it's Fox penetrating. And Fox powers it home. Fox never afraid to take it right at the defense on the drive. An excellent display of speed there. The Mavericks have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Doncic passes to Williams. Doncic against Herter. Looking to end this cold spell. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. A nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. And you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league, and that shows up most with his passing and body control. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Grant. Uh, no question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. Williams on the wing. Pass to McGee to the inside. Doncic. Rebound by the Kings. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. That one drops for him. Fox has got four points this quarter. And he's got it going now. When he's in this kind of a zone, boy, he's fun to watch. Now a timeout called by Dallas. Monk, he's checked in for Herter. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Pass to Irving. Let's it go from 11. Here's McGee. Shoots over Sabonis. Dallas, no good that time either. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. And that one drops. Monk's got 11. Even when you body Monk up, he can still power through, especially on the drive where he's lethal with his strength and athleticism. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. You're trying to close that gap. It's going to hinge on plays like this one, creating high percentage looks right inside. Now here's Irving. 21 points in the game. Oh, it's blocked by Barnes. To the paint. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. And now just a four-point Dallas lead. We've gone about three and a half minutes here into the third. Outside, Williams. Here's Doncic. Five points in the game. Irving for three. Rebounded by Fox. The perimeter game has failed him thus far. Hit one from range in the first half, but nothing since. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Mavericks. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch, sure, too. Well, something else that has stood out to me has been their aggressiveness on the boards. They're just out-muscling the opposition on the offensive glass. And the first one at the line is good. A different look for Dallas. Green comes in for McGee, and Wright subbed in for Irving. And Murray drops them both. The Mavericks leading. Wright outside. Pass to Williams. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. The Kings have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. The score now all even. 
Monk's got four points this quarter. They've really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. Yeah, you know, battling back is about staying the course, and their attitude never changed. Right outside. Back to Doncic. Monk with a steal. To the middle. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. Hey, and Barnes not playing around when he gets near the bucket. When he has the ball deep inside, he's looking to bang it. Now a timeout called by Dallas. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Right, the pass to Doncic. Now Kleba, outside, green. The kick out to Williams. Six to shoot. From outside, off the mark. The Kings have gone six for nine in the half. Here's Barnes. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. You know, back in 2010, Harrison Barnes was the top recruit in the country out of high school grant. Yeah, and interestingly, Barnes decided to play two seasons at North Carolina. Unheard of these days for someone with Harrison's pedigree. Free throw good from Barnes. And you got to appreciate the overall game of Barnes. He's efficient as a scorer and also works hard at the defensive end. Christian Wood has checked in for the Mavericks. Both free throws good from Barnes. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. 100% since halftime. Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Now here's Kleba. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Green. That one's wide left. And it's Sacramento's ball. They're on a 16-3 run. Box the pass to Barnes. The shot won't fall. And it's Dallas the other way. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Davis, he's checked in for the Kings. The Mavericks trailing. Doncic outside. Davis against Green. And there's Wright. That one's good. And the assist from Green. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Pass to Barnes. Over Wood. Here's Sabonis. It's rebounded by Kleba. Kleba's got six rebounds here tonight. Down low. And Wood with the stuff. Wood flying up to slam down the alley-oop emphatically. Fox outside. Pass to Davis. Inside. Kleba with a steal. Doncic with it. Now guarded by Monk. To the inside. Right. Second chance shot. He goes up again. In deep. Wood drops it in. Wood's got 12. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. The three from Barnes nails it from beyond the arc. And the Kings lead by one. Hey, whatever coach told him during the break is beginning to pay off. Right against Fox. Back to Green. Shot clock at six. Kleba outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. For Sacramento, they've gone seven of 13 in the second half. Fox 
No good that time. And right with the defensive effort. Dallas has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. And that one's good. Green. We've seen five lead changes so far. Neither team able to pull away. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to come down to the wire. Outside Monk. Here's Fox. The Mavericks pull it in. Kleba's got rebound number seven tonight. Dallas has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Right, the pass to Doncic. Stolen by Davis. Here's Fox. Kicks it out to Barnes. Puts up a three. Hits the trifecta. Barnes has got 12 points here in the second half. You know, Barnes is a good shooter from deep. When he's in rhythm, he's dangerous from out there. Pretty good battle going on here in Sacramento. Doncic passes to Kleba. Green with the ball. Back to Doncic. Green up top. He shoots it. That went off the back iron and out. Sacramento has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Here's Monk. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Yeah, when you look at Monk's shot mechanics, they're really solid. Even with the foul, he completed his follow through in his shooting motion. Impressive. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Kings. Well, you know, for me, when you can convert this many times in the paint, I think that's a sign that your offense is really in a healthy state. Well, another thing they did well was taking advantage of the holes in the defense. Very aggressive in exploiting the lack of concentration. First free throw is good. Boy, Monk is so lethal and efficient as a scorer. I mean, great range, always hunting his shot. Um, I'd like to see him work on his passing, but... Man, he can put it in the basket. Hardaway's checked in for Dallas. Curry comes in for Doncic. Both good from the line that time. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Wood, right side. Hardaway against Monk. Hardaway, the pass to Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. Puts it up from 12. Called in by the Kings. Lyles has got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Monk. Back to Lyles. Here's Duarte. He's covered by Curry. Here's Mitchell. Plenty of space. Nice touch on the bank shot. Mitchell's got his second basket of the game. Dallas is going just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Now here's Green. He's got seven. That's tipped. And out of bounds. The Kings will take it. The Kings making a switch here. Herter's checked in. And Dallas also making a switch. Irving's checked in. Here's Duarte. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Lyles. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It'll go on Maxi Kleba. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And the second free throw is good. They desperately want to stop this run. Might be time to switch things up. Try a new play call or something. Pass to Kleba. Outside Curry. 
We've got 155 left in the third. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. Boy, that is outstanding body control by Wood. This is a guy that's seven feet tall, showing you great focus and body control. Demata Sabonis, he's checked in for Lyles. That's good from Wood. Well, you look at Seth Curry. For his career, around 44% from long range. That's easily top five in NBA history. Now here's Mitchell. A minute 42 left in the third quarter. Down low. Here's Monk. And yes, it's good. He's seven for eight now. And Seth Curry, one of the elite shooters in league history. But his road to the NBA was no red carpet, Grant. So true. I mean, after graduating from Duke in 2013, a couple years in the G League proving himself, the questions were about his defense, but that stroke was never in question. They grabbed their own miss. Here's Kleba, and a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. He took the contact and had an opportunity to drain it. Boy, terrific play there. I thought even with all the contact, he still was going to get that shot to go down. Drops the first. Murray's checked in for Sacramento. So hits one and misses one at the line. The Kings leading. Monk for three. Another three for Sacramento. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. One oh five left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Hardaway. Now here's Wood. He's guarded by Sabonis. Curry passes to Wood. The floater. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got three assists in the game. A precision passer, Curry, also excellent at seeing his guys when they're open. That one goes. Count it. Duarte's got his first bucket in this one. Nice offense here. Close in. Great bet to go. Dallas has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. The three from Curry. And the Mavericks, another three. This is why you pay Seth Curry the big contract, the big money. His range is unlimited. Outside Murray. Sabonis in the post. He's checked by Kleba. Sabonis can't hit. The Mavericks trailing. Hardaway, a good look. It's hauled in by Herter. Here's Duarte. From deep three-point range. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And we've watched three so far in this one. Kings ahead. Up by four. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And 
And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter. Luka Doncic is out there with Maxi Kleba. Then there's Seth Curry. Then there's Grant Williams. And it's right in at the one spot. Pass to Murray. Now Herder. Just five on the clock. Over Doncic. Herder gets the bucket. And the Kings lead by six. Well, that time he got the defense off balance with the well-timed pump fake. Nice work. Back to Doncic. Over Murray. Called in by the Kings. At one point, they led by 16. Fox, the pass to Herder. The basket's good. Off the assist from Fox. Fox has got three assists tonight. Boy, excellent recognition from Fox there. Outstanding at recognizing when his guys are open. Now here's Doncic. Curry finds Doncic. Another shot. And he lays it in. Luka's a big 6'7". Very strong. Deceptively so. He's an extra forward out there rebounding the ball. Even though he's got point guard skills when it's in his hand. Right against Fox. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. And there's the drive. And it's Fox with the jam. He's showing off the major hops. Wow. <laughs> Look at Fox. Get up and finish with some power. The Mavericks have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Outside Curry. Back to Doncic. Fires the three. Again, Doncic missing. He hasn't had it offensively tonight. This team needs him to play better. Pass to Murray. Here's Duarte. He's covered by Curry. Herder passes to Murray. That shot off. Some solid defense from Williams. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Fox goes in. And Fox excelling at scoring through contact that time. Always looking to take it all the way to the right. Just a superb read on defense to come up with a block. They're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time defense. Pass to Doncic. Now here's Kleba. Kicks it to Doncic. From downtown, it doesn't go for him. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. And the layup is good. And it's a 10-point Kings lead. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Here's Wright. Outside Curry. Doncic against Murray. Back to Curry. Outside, Williams. Kleba outside. Shoots. Here's Doncic. And Doncic hammers it home. Boy, there's a subtle but real physicality and aggressiveness to Doncic's approach to the game, and that's part of his greatness. Now here's Fox. To the middle. Some solid defense from Williams. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Fox against right. Pass to Murray. Outside Herder. Here's Sabonis. It's good. And the Kings lead by eight. Boy, a big body Sabonis might have range, but put him inside and let him eat. Here's right. Outside Curry. 
Back to right. Over Fox. And it's right missing. The Kings have gotten six of eight shots to fall during this fourth. Pass to Duarte. Sabonis with it. Williams defending. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Can't afford to be too handy with Sabonis. He's very good at forcing the issue and getting these calls. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. The Kings making a switch here. Barnes is checked in. And Dallas with a change here too. McGee, he's checked in for right. Sabonis drops them both. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. And McGee with the stuff. I think McGee's been working on that one. I mean, you don't just come up with that off the top of your head, boy. You got to think that one through. And he gets the bucket. As bad as he was in the first half, that's how good he's been since. Here's Doncic. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. Curry finds Doncic. Pass to Kleba. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That went on Herder. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. And he makes a first. one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Fox. And the layup is good off the glass. Fox has got six here in the quarter. There's some contact there, but Fox just refuses to let that hold him back. Here's Curry. Doncic outside. Clock at six. With the drive. And he banks in the layup. And that's a double-double for him now. You know, as I watch Doncic, I think it's futile to try to distract this guy. His focus and concentration and control of himself is uh, excellent. Now here's Fox. Fox has got 26. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Dallas has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Doncic passes to Kleba. Fox against Curry. Kleba outside. Pass to Williams. Back to Kleba from the arc. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis is... Here's Herter. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And now it's a 12-point Sacramento lead. And force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Doncic passes to McGee. 
Williams against Murray. Kleba outside. Pass to McGee. Dallas needs to get off a shot. From deep, here's Doncic. The rebound by Murray. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. And the shot goes down. Barnes has got 16 in the second half. Well, he's been a different player here in the second half, looking much more comfortable on the offensive end. Now Doncic. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Pass to Curry. Kleba outside. The three. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got four assists now tonight. It's important that you have big men who can shoot in this day and age. And this guy can really stretch the floor. Fox finds Murray. Fox against Curry. Fox, that's good. Fox has got 12 points now in the quarter. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. For Dallas, they've gone 7 for 15 in the fourth. Outside, Williams. Back to Doncic. Inside. And McGee with the stuff. Tell you what, guys, it's a big bonus whenever McGee is scoring like this. Got to keep feeding the big man when he's rolling. Here's Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. Since half, there's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Here's Curry following the score by Sacramento. Out left to the wing. Outside, Williams. Back to McGee, to the paint. Curry passes to Doncic. Banked it in off the glass. Boy, what balance from Doncic. I mean, he never seems to get rattled, even when he attracts contact on the way to score. Maintains his poise in those situations extremely well for a young player. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. And Dallas calls time here. You know, he recognized his players were fatigued and needed to, to catch their breath. Those guys were cooked out there. Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving. He just came out and really took over the game, mainly due to how aggressive he was attacking the defense off the dribble. They had no answer for him, and he knew it. So the Kings making a change here. Monks checked in, and Dallas also making a switch. Irving's checked in, and let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hey, guys, I was able to catch the message that Jason Kidd was giving to his team. He let his guys know that he needs more from them to close this deficit. He said, quote, we have to get something started. I know we're behind, but you are capable of taking this game if you still want it. Appreciate the report, Allie. Doncic outside. Uses the glass on the layup. Doncic has got 13 in the second half. And, you know, you look at Doncic for a forward, this guy handles the ball extremely well. He's terrific at creating for himself off the dribble. It's Monk on the wing. And De'Aaron Fox picks up the foul. That's his fifth foul. Go the other way. Dallas now, time running out. A nice shot by Doncic. Doncic has got 12 points now in the quarter. That's just a fantastic decision from Doncic, seeing a chance to go to work inside and taking it. To the middle. McGee with a steal. And a pass break now. The Mavericks on the run. Doncic finds Irving. Back to Doncic. He's off on that one. Great D that time from Monk. Sacramento has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Murray for three. Yes! And a nice assist from Fox. 
And the Kings lead by 12. A minute 35 left in the fourth quarter. Doncic against Monk. With the teardrop. And Doncic finishes inside. Doncic has got 19 points. Boy, such a soft release on this difficult shot. Doncic is a master at knowing how and when to use that shot. Now here's Fox. The three from Barnes. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. McGee's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Doncic, no good. Sacramento has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. And this just goes to show how much of a difference focus makes. Good win here for the Kings. And the huge difference today, the efficiency from beyond the arc. <laughs> yeah, once they started hitting shots, it stretched out the D and opened up the entire offense. And they played well tonight, picking up win number 24 of the year. And you always like to get the early edge in a season series. It gives you confidence. It sets the table for two more games to come against Dallas. And one of the league's superstars, producing as he always does. What a terrific game for De'Aaron Fox. The scoring effort from him, unreal. Carrying this team. I mean, he was amazing tonight. Now here's Sabonis. Just two to shoot. It's rebounded by Kleba. And a comeback here looking very unlikely. Absolutely everything would have to go their way at this point. It's good. On the putback. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. And here's Fox. So it's the Kings winning this one easily. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence too. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Hey, and we will see you. At I'm here with DeMontis. Event. DeMontis, a great team win against a quality opponent, too. What does this say about how you're playing? It's great for us building our confidence as a team. Uh, sticking together, I feel like we play better consistently, so um, it's, it's good for us. Confidence, extremely important. Thanks, DeMontis. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. We'll see you next time.